My name is Matt Hogan, project manager for Kramer North America in Castle Rock, Colorado. We were hired by CDOT about six weeks ago to come in and help with what was a wall failure. Uh, so we're here trying to get US 36 reopened to its full configuration as quickly as we can. So US 36 is a connection between Denver and Boulder. There's more than 150,000 people that travel this every day. It was five years ago that the tolled express lanes were open and finally provided congestion relief that had lasted for about 10 years. With this emergency rebuild, we're just trying to restore that congestion relief as quickly as possible. So Highway 36 actually started to fail. Uh, the soil became unstable and was a slope failure. Over that weekend, traffic was diverted. It was a job where there was minimal amount of time to be able to get the highway back up and operational. And that's one of the reasons that GFOM was looked at as a solution. The speed of which we're having to work is, is a, the one and primary challenge by which we've had. But we looked at several different options, which included uh, drill chaffs underneath the new MSE wall and some other deep foundation work. Uh, but each of those is going to take a little bit longer to complete rather than using the geofoam that we can fabricate quickly and not need all the deep foundation work to support the load of the new wall system. The uh, project itself required 7.9 million board feet of product, which equates to roughly 6,100 of these blocks that are sitting behind me. We had a very condensed time frame in order to produce this material for CDOT. I believe we were the only manufacturer in North America that could have done a job like this because we had to utilize six of our plants to be able to produce enough material and get it here in such a short period of time. Yeah, really from the beginning of the design phase, we were able to work with Chris Essex and others at Insel Foam and come up with what was going to be the controlling factor on, on fabrication. And uh, being able to use six different plants across the country has certainly helped in shipping that in th from those areas. Uh, we were able to find the, honestly, the fastest producer is where we went with to, to be able to meet the needs of this particular project. And um, as of uh, about three days from now, we'll have all the foam on site. So it's just up for us to put it in place. We have been doing this for a long time as a manufacturer and that we've got a technical center, we've got the ability from a plant operational standpoint to be able to uh, get enough material here quick enough to be able to get the job done within such a short period of time. We were able to train people very quickly because it's literally stacking blocks. Uh, we're able to slide the foam right into place, a little bit of detail on the edges, but able to really just look at how to align blocks and slide them into place. It, once you get the material up on top of that foam, it slides relatively easy and it's able to go right in. So uh, couldn't be happier with the simplicity of how to install the foam. Final volumes will be about 25,000 cubic yards. That equates into somewhere in the neighborhood of about 225 to 250 semi-loads of material, which again, it's unprecedented to think that you can move that many semis in 30 days and not only get material in, but also place it. I don't believe that's ever been done before. We've never done a project like this before in Inselfoam's history. It really shows the strength of Inselfoam as a team to be able to manufacture the product in a very accelerated time frame and to coordinate shipping to one job site from various parts of the country, we were able to leverage Inselfoam's nationwide footprint to produce product for this uh, project. There was only about 30 days to be able to bring enough material to be able to fill the void and the, and the failure. Uh, there was really no other great solution other than GFOAM to do that. If you were to bring soil in, uh, it would have needed to be stabilized and compacted and there was no way to do that in such a short period of time. If you were to use conventional methods to rebuild this road, it would take months to do. Uh, it's going to be open in weeks. I think the overall design process and the way that CDOS implemented the emergency plan here um, has allowed for all of these things to come together to really open US 36 back to its full configuration, you know, as expedited manner as possible with, with a really good quality product at the end of the day. Thank you.